In this video, we continue uh, doing some more problems with subtraction, or with add, sorry, not subtraction, with adding sign numbers. Uh, in this problem, we have an absolute value slipped in. When we have absolute value of a number, we have to evaluate that first. So we would evaluate absolute value of negative 8 is positive 8, and then plus negative 17, and now we can do the problem. Since they have different signs, we'd subtract them. 17 minus 8 is 9. And because the 17 was bigger and it's negative, the answer is negative 9. Now with absolute value, you do have to be careful as this next example shows. We have absolute value of negative 12 plus 7. Some of you might be tempted to try and do absolute value of negative 12 and absolute value of 7. It doesn't work that way. We have to work out the absolute value like it's a grouping symbol. So we would first do negative 12 plus 7 which would be negative 5, and then we can do absolute value of negative 5 is, uh, of course, just 5, where right? absolute value makes the sign uh, go away. Okay, let's consider our next example here. This time we have uh, some negative numbers being added. Uh, inside grouping symbols. So remember we have to work out each grouping symbol individually first. So first we have negative 11 plus negative 9. Since they're both negative, we go ahead and add those together. 11 and 9 is 20, so it would be negative 20. And then we move on to the second set, negative 12 plus 19. They have different signs, so we would have to do negative 12, or 19 minus 12 would be 7, and we keep the sign, and so that would be positive 7. And then we just have to simplify the remaining addition problem, negative 20 plus 7. And so we do that, 20 minus 7 is 13, keep the sign, so negative 13. In this next example here, uh, we're adding a bunch of sign numbers. Now there's different ways to do this. You could do them two at a time. So you could do these two together. You know, and then these two together and put their answers together. Uh, but what I prefer to do is to go through here and mark off all my negative numbers and mark off all my positive numbers and then add those up. Okay. Add all my positive numbers together, which is just the one answer, which is just 20 in this case. And then I add all my negative numbers up. Negative 15 plus negative 8 plus negative 9. Because they're all negative, we just add. 15 and 8 is 23. 23 and 9 is 32. So we'll have 20 plus a negative 32. And then we just go ahead and add... Uh, those two numbers. They have different signs, so we take their difference. 20, 32 minus 20 is 12, and then we keep uh, the negative sign. We keep the negative sign. We have one more example here. Uh, this example is another example with fractions. I'm throwing another one with fractions out here at us. So again, the idea is first, let's get a common denominator. So for our two denominators here, 18 and 9, uh, 18 would be the common denominator. So my first fraction already had the common denominator, so it doesn't change. The section, second fraction had 9 as the denominator. So to get from 9 to 18, we had to multiply by 2. So we multiply the top by 2. Right? We have negative 5 plus negative 14. At this point, we have the common denominator, so all we have to do is add what's left. Add what's left, and we get negative 19 over net positive 18. And in this case, that fraction won't simplify. 